Okay, I don't know how much time I have on this uh, video. This is Joshua Taylor coming to you from here in my little place in Boston Bar, British Columbia. Now this is just going to be a short uh, preview. I'd like some uh, feedback if possible. Questions, additions, or whatever. So it's August the, August the 20th, 10 more days until my birthday. So what we have here is an H7 24 acre micro camp. <coughs> I just uh, wish I had someone to do the camera work for me, but I guess this is going to have to work. Maybe I'm just going to lift this up a little bit. Okay, it's going to have to do. Going to have to do. So we got 24 acres here, and uh, I'm not going to get into the math. That'll be on the video. But what I would like to do for the finished product is to, is to display this on a LED screen, a 60-inch LED screen and uh, probably a PowerPoint presentation and that would be put into a manual. So we have this H7 24 acre and the H7 stands for seven hexagonals, right? And uh, so if you take the 24 acres and divide by nine, you actually get that works out your hexagonals. And on this particular model, I have a 20% reduction, so you just take your uh, 24 divided by 9, uh, reduce it by 20%, and you get about 2.66 acres. And uh, so just to give you a run, this is the, the main road coming in, and it goes around. This is for heavy traffic, because you have your, your two work centers here, and each of these work centers will put out uh, five shed shelters per day uh, for a total of 10. I've reduced it down from uh, uh, 12 to 10. So th this is your living area where you come in. This one here is full traffic circuit in there. And so you have your, your shed shelters would be set up like that. And there would be room actually for Two. We have two shed, two shed shelters back to back here, back to back here, with the eating facilities in the middle. So, if you had to add extra people, you would have the room. Each shed shelter would uh, be able to sleep uh, between 12 to 16 people. I'm just saying an average of, of, of 12, and uh, it'd be. A little better shape tomorrow, and uh, so, just, so this is just a quick, quick preview. I want to do a blow up on the shed shelters so you can actually see it, and do a blow up on the on these workstations. And these workstations will probably be uh, 24 foot wide. We have to order the buildings for it, and roughly about 72 feet long. So on your scale. Uh, about an inch and a quarter equals about 50 feet. So distance from here to here is about 50 feet, right? So your traffic circle about 50 feet, 60 feet uh, around there. Uh, in the center, uh, it'll probably be this here represents a six, 60 foot, 60 foot yurt. And this is a 40 foot yurt. This is where people would gather. Uh, together for worship and maybe for a main meal and still be your, your own indiv individual meals here. And uh, so this here, more of a hangout place, you know, for overflow, you know, you know stuff like that, right? And I've, I've modified this what, uh, this design somewhat for my designs that, that I've been doing up through the years. Where I, I put the the living areas one, two, three, four, and the two work areas 
uh, opposite, right, to, to, to make this uh, binary system. And uh, I did another addition. I extended uh, past the borders here, just in case you need more room to set up the shed shelters. In the center, I've got the Star of David. And this could be a one really big tent. So this is where, when the revival goes, the dead will be brought here and raised back to life. So these two areas here, living areas, would actually have uh, the man management would be here, living in this area. And you would have these two living areas. Your management would be living here. And uh, uh, this here might be like a main gathering point, like a strategic command. The green areas are garden areas. You know, it, it depends because you're you're going to have trees and rocks and different thing on, on a plot this size. You do what you can. But the reason for reducing from the full scale down to 80% of the original size here is to allow a, a buffer. Uh, and a, it allows access to put in the roads, but also a buffer. And if you got cattle here, you could actually bring them over to here, bring them over to here. You get the idea. All right, the purple, this is your parking. Uh, so you, you'd come in here, right? And I turn right and you go around to your designated area. And uh, this is about half inch wide, so definitely enough for probably parallel parking or maybe just how they do it and hope there you just have your one, two, three, four, five, six bays, another six bays over here. And this place here is where we drop people off and pick, pick, pick people up. Uh, actually, the roads are designed. When you come in here, because uh, it's going to be more of a one way, there would be uh, enough room here probably for parallel parking along here. So you could have two or three cars in each one of these units. But the big thing is uh, being able to, to mass produce. This is just a temporary uh, staging area. Uh, this particular model is designed for mass production of the shed shelters. When the Lord took me into the seven open visions, I saw five miles of transport trucks. And they were all tarped over. And I knew by the spirit of the Lord that they had everything that they needed. So we're coming very close to that time. All seven major signs that the Lord gave me in, in, in the open visions are in fruition as we speak. The doing, doing away with cash, the beast rising up out of the sea. I was walking in, walking in the manifest presence of, uh, of Jesus. Uh, the Nibiru, the pole shift was uh, very close at hand. Uh, different signs, but I'm going to get into that later. And uh, so it's something I would like to do. And I'd just like to make a point that I don't have a refuge place when, where I'm living, okay? I do, I do not have a refuge place. I came here about the middle of February. I started working the land. About three months ago, I started working on my, my little uh, cabin addition. But I'm praying that the land will come forth where this can be set up. If the signs are coming into fruition. Uh, it's the, the chances are extremely good that next April will be the terminal date for the West Coast. I'm not saying if yeah. I'm just watching the signs, and uh, but with this reset and all that, we know that they're going to do away with cash. Uh, in the visions, uh, cash is only worth. Uh, 20 cents on the door. And we could be heading into hyperinflation uh, very quickly. And uh, so I'm just going to leave this with you. Uh, I sure would I love any any feedback, any any comments, anything that you might add. And as far as uh, you know, if you had uh, the people and all that, you're going to need the people, and you're going to need seven camps like this. 
And in the visions I saw a convoy of 10,000 vehicles, right, 10,000 vehicles, uh, stretched over 50 miles with five miles of transport trucks in the middle, approximately 250 transport trucks, and they were fully loaded. So you're talking between 40 to 50,000 people. That's the remnant that, that would be getting, uh, leaving the east side of Surrey. And the Lord took me into the visions, leaving the, the Vancouver West Coast. Uh, these staging areas need to be set up uh, in Seattle, Los Angeles, San Francisco, uh, different places, you know, away from the cities. So when the time comes, you just pack up and you go. So this camp is, is portable. Uh, even though that you have to put in, uh, do the work to put in your roads and all that, uh, what you're looking at is making the facilities for an off-grid camp. And uh, it's going to take a lot of people working together. So in each camp, each one of these pods, you'd have, say, 24 to 36 people in each each one of these. And you'd have your own uh, uh, place where you can eat. And you'd also have a main gathering point in the, in the center here, community center. Uh, people come over and visit, they can go here. It'd be one heck of a place, I think. I know that this is a millennial design and that it will be used during the thousand year period that we're shortly coming into. And my little doggy Max here, he's saying, I want to go for a walkie. You're not right. You want to go for a walk? Yeah? He's wagging his tail. So I'll go ahead and hear about a seven minute presentation, uh, 11 minute presentation already. So when I come back, uh, Lord willing, tomorrow, we're going to have the, the blow ups of this uh, shed shelter uh, complex and the and the work area uh, see if we can actually maybe double up we might have some singles might have some doubles and if there's the people you can actually start doubling up because you want to be able to produce at least 50 50 units uh, per week so that's why the, the seven camps right you're gonna you're gonna have to make between four to five thousand uh, shed shelter systems complete within a very short uh, space of time and we're already coming into the end of summer the early part of fall and if Vancouver goes down uh, next spring I just hope the, uh, <coughs> the the people in the cities take note and so I'm allowing this to to go forth to the uh, different mayors uh, in Seattle, LA, San Francisco. Feel free to send this information to them that the time is coming and we need to work together, put aside our differences, and prepare. This is Joshua Taylor coming to you from here in Boston Bar, British Columbia, Canada.